Earlier today, the Labour Party caucus, the Labour team of MPs, unanimously endorsed me as their new leader and as the next Prime Minister of New Zealand. I've been humbled by the support shown by my colleagues, but also really excited by the focus and commitment that I have seen from them to make this a speedy and seamless transition in the best interests of all New Zealanders. This is the biggest privilege and the biggest responsibility of my life. I am energised and excited by the challenge that lies ahead. New Zealand is the greatest little country in the world, and I have dedicated my working life to the service of our people and to making it even better. I take on this job at a challenging time for New Zealanders. COVID-19 and the global pandemic created a health crisis, and now it's created an economic one. And that's where my government's focus will be. While we'll be looking forward, I do want to acknowledge how hard COVID-19 was for the country. Some of the actions we took were amongst the hardest a government can do. We know they had a profound impact on a great many people. Despite the comparatively strong position we're in now, compared with many other countries, the tale of the pandemic still remains with us. I know that many people in New Zealand, many families, are struggling at the moment. I know that people are worried about paying their grocery bills and paying their mortgages. The globe is now facing a new challenge, a pandemic of inflation. New Zealand's rate of inflation remains below the OECD average, but high global inflation is biting into Kiwi household budgets. Some people, many people, are hurting at the moment, and I want them to know that we are on their side. We'll continue to grow an economy that creates well-paying jobs, that lifts incomes, and creates opportunities for current and future generations. We'll focus on strengthening our core public services that we all rely, rely upon, like health and education. People should feel confident that they can get ahead and create a better life for themselves and their families through their hard work. We'll continue to tackle the housing crisis so that every New Zealander has a place to call home. Our work to tackle some of the social consequences of the past three tumultuous years is starting to bear fruit, but we know we've got more work to do when it comes to re-engaging young people, to supporting people who are experiencing mental health challenges, to tackle the underlying causes of criminal offending whilst also holding offenders accountable for their actions. As Prime Minister, I will lead a team that's focused and working hard to fix the big issues that so many families and businesses are facing. We will be focused on middle and low income New Zealanders and the small businesses who are doing it tough to get by. We'll be making decisions on refocusing on some of the most pressing priorities and also getting some new work underway on policies that will make a real difference to Kiwis over the longer term. New Zealanders understand we cannot do everything and we certainly can't do everything all at once. They see the global economic pressures that New Zealand is up against. We aren't alone, but we are still in control of our own destiny. To ensure that our team is focused on the commitments I've just outlined, my second task will be to reorganise my cabinet. One role that I can announce is who I intend to appoint as my Deputy Prime Minister. I am delighted to announce that I intend to appoint Carmel Cipolloni to that role. Carmel is an outstanding minister. She has overseen a period where record numbers of New Zealanders have been moving off welfare and into work. During her time as a minister, she's overseen the administration of the wage subsidy scheme that ensured many Kiwi businesses were able to stay afloat during the global pandemic, whilst also ensuring that our welfare system treats people with respect and with dignity. Carmel will be the first Pacifica person to hold the position of Deputy Prime Minister. And as a proud Westie, I can't think of a better sidekick for a Prime Minister from the hut. Kelvin Davis continues as the Deputy Leader of the New Zealand Labour Party. As a team, we are ready to crack into it, and I intend to hit the ground running. <laughs>